surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm at my daughter's house and we know it's after Halloween, but we want to share with you what she put together for Halloween this year and what she made. Well, what? This, this is a combination of um, some items I made this year and well, one of them that I made last year. So um, starting with the haunted house, uh, I made that last year. So we'll get over here if we can get a close up of the haunted house. Want to talk about it? Mm -hmm. And so I made that house um, using a Dollar Tree um, wood, you know, it's just like a wood face. And I have a one on one side and one on the other. And then we just, um, with cardboard, connected the two pieces and created a 3D house with it. Um, the little ghost was already in the doorway, so that was um, pretty easy. Um, but then we added some lights and some fabric in the windows. These were just um, little pieces off of something, I don't know, and I just made um, some little boxes for them to sit on with some Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is some Dollar Tree um, metal ribbon. This is just a box that we painted. Um, we made some stairs. So it's just um, using what we can find around the house it turned out really cute. I think I think it turned out good, and it was from last year. So there's a video on the on my channel. I have no idea where it would be. Probably like last August or September. Well, this and gives I, you a reason to run over and see all the projects mm -hmm. she's done. Yeah. So it did have like a bigger like um, display. We had a graveyard and all that, but um, I got rid of that part and then just kept the the house itself to to add to my display for this year. So moving over, um, you the, 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 one, the tree is just a tree, I bought it, I don't know, Dollar Tree or something, and I just made that ghost out of clay. And then that one. Yes, I should show that the, this is made out of clay that she's talking about. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you want to see how she made these, just go over to her <laughs> channel, Blossom Your Creativity. And then this one is um, one of my more recent um, items. It's a cake, a pumpkin cake. And then I just put this ghost that came from the Dollar Tree. And this is just clay and sprinkles. And these are all clay items. But I thought these were cute. Like he's running away with the little pies. So I thought that was super cute. Yes, it is. It, it was, it does light up and say like, oh, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the battery died, so doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> Did the kids get to see it do that? No, it ran oh, out before they... You even they got over, see. huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, let's see, where are you at? So, this is my creepy monster. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually trying to make like a faux whip topping and it was too um, wet yeah. and it fell. And I was like, what can I do to save this? And I saw this monster in the clay so i was like okay let's make it a monster so i just put some eyes <laughs> in it and, and enhanced them the, the part where the mouth was and i was like okay that'll be my little monster it looks like a frog to me i don't know why but it turned out really cute i don't know if you can see how it's glit how much glitter is on it it really looks great it's it's super cute i'm glad i didn't and that's why i have to you know think you know there's you can always do something with an accident and that's what it was it was just it wasn't working out and i was like let's turn this into something else and and truthfully if you had tried to make something like that it probably would be very yeah hard. it wouldn't work so i i think it turned out really cute and i'm, I'm really happy with it and i'm going to keep it <laughs> oh it's super cute now the ghost did you buy that or did you make yeah, it yeah no i bought it that's just a decor piece okay and let's go down here to the, the ghost so the cake yeah we're at the cake now so we have our my little ghost cake it's a two-tier cake these are just um, little boxes that I covered with um, clay again I'm I like to use the clay because it's pretty sturdy and the little ghosts were made um, using a mold or a cookie cutter I should say mm -hmm. and then I have a mold for these um, but it's just, you'll, I mean, I have videos up, um, showing how I made them. So you can always go and check it out. I mean, even if you didn't want to make a ghost, um, something for Halloween, you can incorporate the same idea for like a, um, Thanksgiving cake or a Christmas cake. So, and I don't know, I'm going to go in as close as I can to show you how pretty the glitter is on it. You never, when you go back, you really can't see always how pretty this stuff is on 
the tablet as well as if you were here in person, but it's just beautiful mm -hmm. in person. And this particular glitter, um, I can't remember where it came from, but it's got a combination of two different glitters and I, um, it's like a purple and a pink. And then I added just a touch of black in it. Um, because it's, you know, it's got the black bats inside the sprinkles and stuff. Oh, where's the, where's those little bats at? See, there's little bats right here. You can see in the sprinkles. Maybe you should turn your light on. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, maybe. Well, let me get, I get, bring it up a little bit closer to see if I can. Yeah, see, now you can see them. See, it's bats. And then, um, I just had this paper. So I covered this bottom box, um, with this Mackenzie child looking paper. Mm -hmm. And then I made a little bat to put on the back. Um, so it has something all the way around. And I don't know if you could see the ghost. They're kind of see through. Yeah, I do see the ghost really easy, but the bats I couldn't see. Yeah. Why don't you point to a, so here's a bat right here. That way they, people can see what we're talking about. And there has all these little char glitter charms and see, in there. See, here's one right here that mm -hmm. I thought turned out really good mm -hmm. photographing. So again, this is just, um, you know, some little boxes from the Dollar Tree and pink clay. And white clay, of course, because I made the ghost. Now, this is one of my favorite ones right here. Yes, it's mine too. <laughs> and this, um, it started out to be like a, a little plant um, container. And why I liked it, and I'll pull it out so you can see, is, um, get this stuff. you see how on the bottom, let me move this because I know it's gonna fall out. It has the three legs. Okay. So that's what I liked about it. Now, um, I didn't do a very good job because it's got a crack right here, but mm -hmm. that's okay because I think it adds to the spookiness of it. Yeah. So, um, so this whole pot was covered with black clay and then I did paint over it because the black was, um, was too gray. So mm -hmm. I want it to be more like a jet black. So I did paint over it with acrylic. So you can paint over the clay and then this is, um, a green clay that I created. Um, with just different colors. I just kept now, adding. Now did you roll all the little balls yourself? Yeah, I made, I rolled all the little balls. And you can't see it very well, but there is a different texture in there. It looks wet. Can you, I don't know if you can yeah, see it. Yeah, it's showing up, it's showing up. So that is, a, um, it's like a resin. And I put that inside. And then these bubbles, you know, are supposed to be the bubbles boiling over, so. So the cauldron turned out wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love it. And something fell on top of it, so it kind of bent that my little hop, happy Halloween sign. But that's okay. But that, yeah, that one came out really good. And this is just a skewer stick, or I mean a chopstick. And I just um, put, it in there. put a little bit of um, colorant on it and stuck it in there. Now, like I'm the, not getting very good clearance on this one cupcake back here. Oh, I can pull. That way we can see it a little bit better. And then this is just something I made. I think I made this last year. And all this is is just a regular cupcake base. Oh, okay. And this is a napkin that I um, decoupaged on on there. Oh, okay. And then this is just, um, what do you call it? Spa uh, spackle. And I got this. This little pumpkin was from the Dollar Tree. I think this little thing was... Uh, their little boots, little witch's boots. Oh, okay, I see it now, yeah. And those those are, I got them online in, at Etsy. I can't remember the shop now. That's super cute. Yeah, so that's cupcake. I did, like I said, I did that last year when I was still using spackle. Now I'm using more clay because I think the clay. And I don't know if you guys can there. see that, that that little ghost is sparkly too. Mm -hmm. And it picks up the green also in the, yeah. in the sparkles. So that's a, a little ghost that I made. I freehanded that. Mm -hmm. And so then now we'll go over. So I got the sign at the store. Um, okay. So I didn't do anything to that. Um, but I made these two little fingers here, like um, the witch's fingers. And then my little ghost. You know what I, I thought it was? I was thinking it was, um, I can't think what, what like, like a monster's fingers or something. Yeah, it could be monster. But you see, I painted the nails black. And I just freehanded that. <laughs> I thought it was cute to sit on there. And then this is, um, I had last year, I had done like a lot of the old fashioned Halloween. Vintage. The vintage, uh huh. And so this and this one I did last year. And this is just a topper, so it comes off. And you see, I put those little Jenga blocks underneath. So when you put it on, it doesn't slide off. 
-hmm. so it'll stay in place. So, and that's spackle again. Um, so these two were made on the same video. <clears throat> but I thought these were, I love these. Um, I don't know the name, I can't remember the name of it. This, this uh, person who makes this design. But it's, but it's, it's a really great, cute. great vintage looking yeah, pieces. Yeah, I love it. So, and then these are my Halloween cookies. And I um, cut out a circle. This is made out of clay. I just cut out a circle and inserted um, a little charm inside there. And what's great, the pumpkins are photographing beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I first started off, I was trying to do something for this and it didn't turn out right. So I was like, I'm just going to fill it all in. It looks okay. So and then I just made the little, I think they're called trendles or something like that. And then I put that on. There. I think it looks good all finished and filled in. Look at this little tiny cupcake. It's got a little Where ghost. Get it in there. Ghost and Frankenstein. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Frankenstein's fingers over there. That's oh, okay. Yeah. So that's Frankenstein's face. And oh. this little cupcake was made out of a mold. So it's the same little cupcake base as I used for the ghost over there. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah. And then going back here, it's just, um, you know, witches. Is that one you want right there? Oh, right here. Oh, the little witch the little hat. cup. So I just had, um, I got this from Timu and then I just filled my little cup um, with spackle and some um, sprinkles. Yeah, and that it doesn't not picking up as pretty as it is when you see it in person. It's really sparkling a lot. Mm -hmm. That's it. They're turning out cute. It's not as cute as my froggy monster, but that's yeah. I made those two on the same video. And then um, this is just something from the Dollar Tree, but I um, made this over. It was a different um, design, mm -hmm. um, so I got that from the Dollar Tree, and I just like revamped it to make it more Halloween, added this paper, and then it has like a little spider on the back. Oh, the spider fell. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're backing up. <laughs> spider spider, spider, spider disappeared. I guess he, he decides to leave. And this one, it turned out super cute too. Yeah, and this is another one that was just made with a box with black clay, and I used this pink um, clay as a, um, the splat, like it, it's falling over the top of the, the cake. And I love the way the little witches went through a broom and then the little spider and the little bats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of it super, super And they cute. did the same thing where it was like a pink, a pinky purple glitter. And then I just added a little bit of black glitter just to kind of. Now, did you buy the ghosts the way they are or no, did you I make them? them? You made the ghosts mm -hmm. too then, huh? Mm -hmm. You see, I made them have like a little tie for the daddy and the mommy has a bow. Mm-hmm. So she's got some pretty eyelashes. Yeah, too. I gave her some eyelashes. <laughs> so I that I was just new at making the ghosts, but I thought they were cute and that would be cute on top. And then the little um bottles, where did you pick those? Oh, I got those at the 99 cent store. And they they came like that, so I didn't do anything special to but it. But they sort of look vintage too. Yeah. And they were so they, they kind of go with these ones. Mm -hmm. I was gonna do um a vintage area but i never got around to it there's so, always next year yeah i just threw them all in here together so and then, and then i love this this um purple one this purple and it's it's raised and mm -hmm. it's really nice i didn't make it oh you didn't like, make that no huh? it came like that oh that's... but i thought it was super cute it so. is and i have it on top of my mackenzie child's pumpkin candlestick candlestick well, I thought everything turned out good. I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing all the things that Debbie's made. And uh, keep in mind, go over and check out Blossom Your Creativity, and she'll show you, share with you how you can make some of these items. And they're not that difficult, even though I seem to make it seem like it's difficult. <laughs> oh, a new piece you put back. Well, I, yeah, it was here, but I didn't make anything, so that's why I removed it. But this is actually just a cup. It came with this spoon with mm -hmm. this little charm on the end. And this came from another, um, like a candle holder. And I sorry, removed it and put it on this cup. I thought it would look cute together. Oh, it looks super cute. <laughs> but I it, thought it was came that way. Mm -mm, it's two different pieces. But um, I was gonna I was gonna make a faux topping on mm -hmm. it like the other ones, but I never got around to it. So I sort of like the way it is. Yeah, I think I think so too. So I probably won't do anything with it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed coming over to my daughter's house today and uh, getting to see some of the things that she put together for uh, probably August, September, and October, right? Mm -hmm. 
And again, some, you know, like the cakes, you can take that same idea and use it for Thanksgiving or Christmas or even, you know, next year coming, you got Valentine's, Easter. So, you know, um, go and check them out. they will give you some ideas of how you want to maybe make a cake of your own. Well, thank you so much. And I love coming over here to see what she comes up with because she always has something wonderful to share. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. We'll see you next week.